But we did have 56 anglers that did a bunch of fishing today, and I know you guys want to see some fish, don't you? Well, we got to bring up the man that weighs the fish. I need you to get real, real loud. Let me hear it for Chris Bowes. Well, Chris, this has been fun, but let's hope this goes a little smoother than our magazine reveal. Yeah, I know. We, we got 56 anglers lining up out back. I don't want to take too long, but say what a what a pinch me moment out back. All these legends of, sp of the sport. You know, I'm, I'm kind of an old guy now, I guess, in this industry. I watch watch those folks as I was growing up and I know a lot of the young generation hopefully you watch the cast and learn to appreciate what they did for this tremendous sport and how much they meant to it I got a few folks I'm really quickly going to thank and of course that is Tulsa Regional Sports uh, and uh, as well as the uh, Regional Tourism give them a big round of applause for everything they've done City of Grove and Grove Convention and Visitors Bureau up there at uh, Grand Lake of the Cherokees they've done a fantastic job we'll, we'll dive down a little bit more I want to I want to thank uh, Oklahoma Wildlife Conservation, they're getting all these fish right back to Grand Lake uh, so they can be caught again, 100% uh, release rate yesterday. All the volunteers from the Bass Nation as well as all the volunteers that could travel from around the country, we appreciate them, can't do it without them. Let's weigh some fish. Are you guys ready to weigh some fish? No, 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 no. This is day number two of the 54th Bassmaster Classic. The Bass Pro Shops Bassmaster Classic presented by Jockey Outdoors. Are you ready? I need you to help me with this part. Ooh, let's get ready to win! Dave, we got our first angler out of the lake into the arena. Please welcome from Deal, Maryland, Brian Schmidt. Brian Schmidt. <laughs> I think we just freaked out our driver. This thing's off to a firecracker start. But speaking of a firecracker, what a angler we have coming in here first. He's a three-time Bassmaster winner. He's a three-time classic qualifier and has the all-time record for the most Toyota Series wins. Let me hear it for Brian Schmidt. Brian Schmidt had 14 pounds, seven ounces yesterday. Needs eight pounds even to take the lead here today. I think he's got that, not a problem. 14 pounds, 15 ounces leading the tournament with 29 pounds and six ounces. Gonna hold it high. Tulsa, Oklahoma, let me hear you. A consistent tournament, you're sitting in the lead right now, and obviously we have another 55 anglers left to weigh in, but the goal today, just to get inside the top 25. Wait, did you say I'm leading? Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. But no, seriously, yeah, I would love, love to make it. That's the number one goal, just to have a chance, fishing the final day on the Bassmasters Classic. I'm going to try to say a lot real quick. Uh, I got to thank my buddy, Kurt Dove. He's been driving me around all week, and... Uh, it's a big help. It's 92 miles out there to the boat ramp every morning and coming back. And he got me really excited today. You know, right when we pulled up, the weather's really nasty. It's cold. He's like, hold on. This is what you wanted. This is nasty weather. We love this. So he got me all excited. And my son, Dylan, bless my baits. I pulled out a rod that I haven't pulled out all week. And I know he had blessed it. And I caught a big one. I caught a five-pounder late in the day. And it was my fifth fish, my only five keeper bites today and i thank him for doing that my beautiful daughter olivia i love you girl and my wife and my family up there and uh you know so just real quick and i'll get off the stage uh i was really really struggling you know late i only had four and and i had two really nice fish but i i, I knew i needed a big bite pulled up to a piece of a piece of wood i could see i made five flips on and on the fifth fillet on the fifth flip it, it bit and it was a five pounder so We'll see how it goes tomorrow. Looking forward to watching it go down. Let's hear it for him. John, let's keep him rolling. Next up, from Raceland, Louisiana, please put your hands together for Tyler Rivette.
He is a three-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier, took his first Elite Series victory at the very first stop of the 2023 Bassmaster Elite Series, digging deep in that Phoenix Live well. Captain America planting the flag. Oh boy. <laughs> we are off to a great start here. <laughs> Five fish here today. Had 11.5 yesterday, five here on day number two, 13 pounds, six ounces, gives him 24 pounds, 11 ounces. And Tyler Rabette moves into second place currently. Get your cameras ready. First of all, well, we'll weigh this one for Mercury Big Bass. Going to take that over for today for sure. Five pounds, nine ounces. So you've done that. Not for the tournament. The tournament is six pounds, five ounces. But you have no, uh, you know, I sometimes I make fun of you for going to the gym as much as you do. I am so thankful you're in the shape you are because I don't know how many of our anglers could have made that leap. Well, I go to the gym. I don't do cardio. So I'm surprised I made it too. Uh, <laughs> I do feel if like I pulled something in there, but <laughs> so is that like Sue and Bassmaster or who would he, what is that? I believe that the guy who drove the truck. No, nah, I'm good, man. We're good. Man, it was a great week. Uh, I came into this week knowing two things. One, that nobody remembers second. And two, uh, we don't have any points for this event. So I just went all out, tried to catch what I could. Uh, I found the big ones. They were just right behind my bait all day, yesterday and today. And it could have changed so quick, like a couple seconds different. So uh, it is what it is. I uh, probably won't make it with that, but I'll be able to be, go in the expo this week, uh, tomorrow, have fun, represent all my sponsors, see my family. Love y'all. Y'all awesome. And speaking of, my sister just got up here. She uh, had an award last week. Uh, she got new teacher of the year down there in Louisiana. So give her, give her a good round of applause. But the, she did tell me not to say that she was the only new teacher, so <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, no, it was a great week, great week. Uh, thank y'all for coming. Thank everybody for coming. I'll be at the expo tomorrow. We could do some fun stuff. I don't even know. But man, I'm just, I'm glad to be back here. You know, everybody wishes could have ended up differently, but uh, hey, I'm happy, you know. It's always great to have you at the Classic. We we'll look forward to seeing you a couple weeks' time down in Florida on the Bassmaster Elite Series. From Leander, Texas, please put your hands together for Clark Winlet. He is a four-time Angler of the Year, fishing his sixth Bassmaster Classic, the 2020 Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year. Rolling in in that Bass Pro Shops wrapped a Ranger Yamaha. Had 13-1 yesterday, looking for 16-6 to take the lead here today. Five fish all alive, going to go back on Grand Lake of the Cherokees for you guys to catch for years and years to come. 13-1 yesterday, looking for 16-6 to take the lead here today. 15 pounds, 10 ounces, he moves into second place with 28 pounds, 11 ounces. Digging deep in that Crush City weigh-in bag. Let me hear it for Clark Wendlet. Twenty-eight pounds, eleven ounces. You are sitting in second place. So, uh, I mean, looks like you're fishing tomorrow. We'll have to see how it all shakes out. It'll be close. I mean, you can't win the classic if you're not fishing the last day. So, you know, and I remember what happened when Edwin fished in sixteen and came out with this massive bag. And so, um, you know, I'm I'm just gonna cross my fingers and hope that I'm in. I'd love to see you there tomorrow, but 
another classic trip, and the best news is we get back to work in two weeks' time down in Florida in the Elite Series. Yeah, if you catch them or not here, um, you know you're fixing to go to Florida. The Elite Series is fixing to kick back up, and, you know, I'm looking forward to fishing Florida. I, I love catching them there. Hopefully it won't be too much looking at them. It'll just be a lot of fishing and catching them, and so... Uh, you know, it's been a it's been a great tournament so far. I'm I'm hoping like heck I make it in tomorrow, and I appreciate all you guys. We'll try fire through this way and quick and get you an answer. Dave, he hails from Cooperstown, New York. Please welcome Kyle Patrick. He is an Elite Series a rookie, a Bassmaster Open winner, fishing his very first Bassmaster Classic. Hot off a top 10 at Lake Fork on the Bassmaster Elite Series. And let's see how this worked out. Had 15 pounds, 13 ounces on day number one, looking for 13.10 to take the lead here today. Needs 13 pounds, 10 ounces, 15, 8, gives him 31 pounds, 5 ounces. And you've got a brand new leader at the Bass Pro Shops, Bassmaster Classic, presented by Jockey Outdoors. Your new Bass Pro Shops daily leader. You're going to weigh that for Mercury Big Bass. Needs to be better than 5.9 for the day, 6.5 for the tournament. Six pounds, seven ounces. That's a brand new Mercury Big Bass, not just for the day, but for the tournament. And dude, I know you like fishing on Sundays and you might just have done two of them in a row. Man, this has been such a cool week, being here, seeing all the fans. I caught that big one in front of the guy that taught me how to bass fish. His my, and a couple of my good buddies, family, friends. I got a great support group over there. That's awesome. Um, my lovely girlfriend, her family, it's just been a surreal week and I can't thank all of you guys enough for coming here and, you know, big bass, big stage, big dreams, baby. This is awesome. And you are living proof. Go get ready, we'll see you back here tomorrow. From Panama City, Florida, please welcome Drew Benton. He's a former Dakota Lithium Rookie of the Year, a two-time Elite Series champion, the star of the YouTube Series cut line, and that's what he's looking to get inside here. The cut line, the top 25, move on to Championship Sunday. Had 14-12 yesterday, needs 16-10 to take the lead, but it's all about getting inside the top 25. 14 pounds, 7 ounces, with 29 pounds, 3 ounces, he moves into third place, and it looks like Drew Benton finds himself inside the cut line for now. Twenty-nine pounds, three ounces, and we talked about it this morning. You, I mean, when you host a series called the Cut Line, you want to be inside the Cut Line. Is it enough to fish on Championship Sunday? I think so, Dave. You know, I'm not. I'm going to be a, a little bit behind the eight ball uh, if I get to go tomorrow. But you know, this Grand Lake, anything can happen. The wind's going to blow tomorrow. It's going to change things up a lot for everybody. And uh, maybe we can just put a big bait in our hands and just go fishing and see if we can run into five big ones. You know, this event was won with a giant day on the last day. The last time it was here, I would love nothing more to get that opportunity to do it tomorrow. I would love to see it happen for you. We'll keep our fingers crossed and find out. This next one is a scary, scary cat. Direct from Lincolnton, North Carolina, Tulsa. Give it up one time for Hank Cherry. He is a proven Bassmaster Classic performer. 
seems to always find his way inside the biggest events and always delivers. A two-time Classic Champion, the back-to-back -back Bassmaster Classic Champion, and a four-time Bassmaster winner at 16 pounds, eight ounces yesterday. Five fish here today. Needs 14-14 to take the lead. Flippity-flop, what has he got? 17 pounds, three ounces. 17-3, and he is your brand new leader with 33 pounds, 11 ounces, a Bass Pro Shops daily leader, and Hank Cherry is leading the Bass Pro Shops Bassmaster Classic presented by Jockey Outdoors. He's got a buddy he wants to bring in. Hank, I was hanging with your buddy backstage a little earlier, and, and I told him, I said, I, I really don't think Hank's that good, but it seems when he shows up at Bassmaster Classic, good things start to happen for you. Pretty cool good luck charm, but man, can we see it happen again? You know, anything can happen in this sport. I'm proof of this. It's happened to me twice. Um, you know, it was a great day out there. I started off with a bang early again. I just never, ever really found a great big fish. I kind of got another piece of the puzzle this morning, so I have a different bait I'm going to put on to try to go catch a couple of big ones in the morning. But I've said it a thousand times, all you military veterans, first responders out there, thank you for what you do. It's not forgotten. My family, all those up there, you sacrificed so much for me to be here. I love you guys. So tomorrow, we're going swing, and I have no regrets. I have no doubts of what I've done. I'm fishing and having as much fun as I can possibly have. Um, just seeing the support around the lake, people coming out, taking pictures, telling me, you know, they support me and what I'm doing, this, that, and the other. This is why I do what I do. It's, it's not about the fame, it's about the fans, bringing enjoyment, get to put a smile on people's face when you bring fish to the way in. And it's pretty cool when your rod bends and there's a big one on the other side. So it's got to happen tomorrow. I believe it. It's going to happen tomorrow and we'll make it close. We're going to try. You know, I, I picked on Hamner, and I look, I got some slack for talking about Justin. I like him. He's a good kid. He is. But I pick on him. You know, this morning, we're coming downstairs, and I looked over in the uh, weight room, and he's in there <laughs> pumping up, trying to get a little bigger. But got a lot of guys coming after him. Got a lot of guys that want it. Got a lot of wind coming tomorrow. So hopefully this is one of those times the wind's my friend, and we rock this out. Thank you, guys. Can't wait to watch it go down. From Odenville, Alabama, please put your hands together and welcome Scott Canterbury. He's a four-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier, a former progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year and a two-time FLW Tour winner. Trying to come back after a rough day number one. He's got a limit of fish, had three pounds, 13 ounces yesterday. Five fish here today. 12 pounds and an ounce gives him 15 pounds, 14 ounces. He's inside the cut currently in 17th place. Get loud for Scott Canterbury. Bit of a comeback today, a little redemption here on Grand, but uh, tomorrow, for day one is going to turn out to be your Achilles heel in this event. Yeah, man, I don't know where the quality went. You know, today I was a little bit better than yesterday. I still never caught a big one today. Uh, I don't know. I asked my marshal, I said, man, you know, I catch 30 today. Yesterday I caught like seven or eight bass all day, and he said, I think you caught close to 50. So today was a good day out on Grand, man. Tulsa, Grove, Grand Lake has been phenomenal. I didn't catch anything yesterday. And then, man, today I show up and I got a crowd. I mean, there's five or six boats following me around to three or four different spots. People are taking pictures, cheering you on. And I didn't catch anything. So uh, it's awesome. It's awesome to have you here. And I can't wait to see you in a couple weeks' time down in Florida. Yeah, man, I didn't do any good, but I qualified now to uh, work the expo tomorrow. Everybody come out and see me tomorrow. We'll be at the Yamaha booth, uh, American Bait Works, Epic booth. Just come by and see us and uh, just talk a little bit about fishing in Grand Lake. 
Looking forward to seeing you there. Our next angler from Collinsville, Mississippi. Put your hands together for Brock Mosley. He is a five-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier. He is an elite series champion, rolling in in the Dakota Lithium Rap Phoenix Mercury at 15 pounds and six ounces yesterday. Looks like a decent day here today. Needs 18.6 to take the lead, but it's all about getting inside the top 25 to keep your tournament alive. 14 pounds even going to do that with 29 pounds, six ounces. He moves into third place, and it looks like Brock Mosley may be fishing with us on Championship Sunday at the 54th Bassmaster Classic. Twenty-nine pounds, six ounces. Uh, so you're inside the cut in third place right now, but we still got a bunch of anglers left to weigh in, uh, and we'll see how it all shakes out. How you feeling, Brock? You know, it's been a fun couple of days. I'm catching them the way I want to catch them: flipping jigs, throwing chatterbaits, throwing crankbaits. I am yet to get a big bite. I mean, everything I'm catching is all about the same size. You know, if I can go out there and get a few big bites tomorrow, and you know with the weather coming in and, and anything can happen. You know, I'm just, if I make the cut, which, you know, it kind of looks like I am, I'm just gonna go out there and swing in and see what happens. Can't wait to watch it go down. I think he's gonna be part of it. Let's hear it for him. He hails from Gonzales, Louisiana. Please welcome Greg Hackney. Fishing an unbelievable 18th Bassmaster Classic, a six-time Bassmaster winner and a former progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year. Here he is, the hack attack, Greg Hackney, at 12 pounds, 11 ounces yesterday. Needs a little bit better day today to guarantee he's fishing on Championship Sunday. Five fish today, 10-14, moves into eighth place with 23 pounds, nine ounces. Taking deep in that Crush City weigh-in bag. He's going to show you a few, ladies and gentlemen. Make some noise for the hack attack, Greg Hackney. So, Greg, 23 pounds, 9 ounces. Not sure it's going to be enough to go tomorrow, but, man, 18 trips here, and this never gets old. <laughs> no, it never does. And these crowds just get bigger and bigger every year. And uh, like I said yesterday, it's a blessing to stand here. I've never taken this for granted. This is a good time. It's always good. It's the goal that drives me every year is to get back to the Classic. And, you know, after this week, we'll be heading to Florida, and we'll be starting this road again trying to get back. Love to see you back here, and, and I, I want to see you hold that title here, but uh, unfortunately this time you qualified to work the Expo. Where can they find you tomorrow? I'll be good. I, I do a good job in the Expo. I'm good at that. Is that one of your specialties? Well, I feel like at these classics I've had a lot of practice. <laughs> uh, you know, but it, it's all good tomorrow. I'll be around Phoenix, Mercury, Strike King, Lose. Uh, TH Marine, I'll be everywhere tomorrow. I'll see a lot of people tomorrow. It'll be a good time. It, like I said, it's a blessing to have this opportunity and to stand here. My family's there, and uh, my whole family. This is the first time everybody's been here, uh, so uh, it's a great week. It, it, it's, it is good. It's an honor to be here. Oh, an honor to stand on this stage with you. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow at the Outdoor Expo. Speaking of the Outdoor Expo, how many people went to the Outdoor Expo here today? The Bassmaster Classic Outdoor Expo presented by GSM Outdoors. Can't thank them enough for being our presenting sponsor of the Outdoor Expo. And the best way to make a sponsor feel warm and fuzzy is to make some noise for them. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for GSM Outdoors. Now, keep that noise going for our next angler. Dave, we got our next angler from Cairo, Georgia, Drew Cook.
five minute late violation, cost him five pounds, turned his 18-1 into 13-1. Let's see if he can rally back here today. Five fish here today. 13-1 yesterday, five fish here today. 10 pounds, 11 ounces, gives him 23 pounds, 12 ounces. And those five minutes continue to haunt him at his fifth Bassmaster Classic appearance. Hold him high and let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. Drew, unfortunately, I mean, clearly you had the weight if you, without that penalty, I mean, everything went good yesterday except for those five minutes, but you're a Bassmaster Classic qualifier once again. You got a lot of people supporting you here, and um, that's all I got for you. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, it is. It's awesome to be here. Um, I got a huge support group, my family and friends, everybody. And, uh, you know, yesterday I really thought I let it roll off of me like a duck's back, but today the first big one that I hooked, it, it came off, and it just kind of snowballed. Because, I mean, I had the bites to, to do exactly what I told you I needed to do uh, this morning. You know, have a big upper 20s pound bag and, and get back into it. But, you know, it, it just, when it's not your time, it's not your time. And obviously this week was not my time. Uh, but uh, I had a great week of good practice, uh, skipping a dirty jigs jig around, throwing a, uh, a Spro jerk bait mix stick 110 in a couple different colors, just depended on the weather. Um, Today, I really thought they were going to eat it really good, the jerk bait, but with the wind, and they, they just didn't. I don't know, but I got a bunch of really great sponsors, and uh, I'll be able to work for all of them tomorrow at the expo once again. So if you don't have anything to do, uh, stop at the AFCO booth. I've got a bunch of uh, AFCO cards, um, but, you know, I can't complain. Everything I'm running this year is awesome. Uh, my Sonar Pro's rig, Skeeter, uh, I've got a dedicated wire harness with a new Battleborn batteries, lithium to run my live scope. Um, you know, it's something we have to do now with all these graphs that we're running, the clearest picture we can get. And and as much as I didn't think I was going to rely on live scope this week, I ended up relying on it a lot. You know, either it's showing you what to cast at, so you can love it or hate it, but we got to use it. And I don't love it or hate it. <laughs> Well, always great to have you here. We look forward to seeing you in Florida in a couple of weeks. Our next angle is from the Sunshine State, more specifically Palm Harbor, Florida. Give it up on time for Aaron Yavarsky. ever to qualify for the Bassmaster Classic did that as a 17 year old let's hear it for Aaron Yavorsky had 11 pounds and an ounce yesterday by the looks of that one a better day today 11 one yesterday five fish here today for Aaron Yavorsky Thirteen pounds, nine ounces, with twenty-four pounds, ten ounces. He moves into eighth place currently. One more time, making history: the youngest angler ever to qualify for the Bassmaster Elite Series. No, it hasn't done that yet. Youngest angler ever to qualify for the Bassmaster Classic. I might have told the future, said you were the youngest to qualify for the Elite Series, but there's still time. Gonna weigh this one for Mercury Big Bass. Needs to be better than six, seven. Six pounds, 12 ounces, and a brand new Mercury Big Bass leader. So you made your mark before even fishing this event by being the youngest to qualify, and now you're leading Mercury Big Bass for the tournament. Not a bad way to spend the weekend. Yeah, you know, here at Grand Lake, had a pretty good week, caught a bunch of fish. You know, lake's super good. Um, but uh, this crowd is just amazing. And um, youngest angler, just put in the hard work for all the young anglers out there. And um, just being up here is a crazy experience. This whole week has been just insane. And um, 
just makes me want to come back here <laughs> even more another year. So hopefully this isn't the last time I'm up here. But um, I just want to thank my family over there for uh, letting me come out here and live this amazing dream. Let me uh, take off, you know, school and st stay away from home uh, as much as I do. But um, I just can't thank my sponsors enough. Caught everything this week on a Six Cents 97 DD uh, jerk bait and a Fitzgerald fishing rod. But um. Thank you guys for all coming out here. Thank the Bass, the, uh, this amazing organization, for letting this dream come true. And uh, we'll see you all again. Amazing young angler. Our next angler is from Calhoun, Tennessee. Give a big Tulsa welcome to Cole Sands. One of our 16 Bassmaster Classic rookies. A former Bassmaster College Bass champion. Had 11 pounds, 15 ounces yesterday. And let's see how it worked out for him today. Looks like a little better day today. Five fish for Cole Sands. 11.15 yesterday. Day two at the Bass Pro Shops Bassmaster Classic. 15 pounds, 5 ounces with 27 pounds, 4 ounces. He moves inside the top 10 in 7th place currently. Let me hear it for Cole Sands. So a better day today. Now you just got to pace backstage for a little while and hope it's enough to go tomorrow. Man, I, I don't think it's going to be enough, but uh, no matter what, I just fished my first Bassmaster Classic, and man, this is a dream come true. I was born in Fairbanks, Alaska, moved to Tennessee, fell in love with bass fishing. I fished Bassmaster Junior tournaments, high school tournaments, college tournaments, fished the Opens, now, then the Elites, and now I'm fishing the Classic, man. So I'm living proof. If you work hard, put your trust in God, and um, want it bad enough, you can fish the Bassmaster Classic no matter where you're from. Um, I'm proof to all the kids out there who want to do it, you can. And uh, man, what an awesome week. Y'all, the Bassmaster took such good care of us, uh, put us up in a really nice hotel, fed us every day. And uh, man, I just want to give God all the glory and um, can't wait to come back every year, hopefully. So uh, had an awesome week. Good news is the battle to get back here starts in a couple of weeks down in Florida. Our next angler from Otonomy, Ontario. Welcome, Chris Johnston. He's the very first Canadian ever to win an FLW Tour event. The very first Canadian ever to win a Bassmaster Elite Series event. At 15 pounds, two ounces yesterday. Let's get him inside that cut. 14 pounds, four ounces with 29 pounds, six ounces. He moves into fourth place currently, digging deep in that Crush City weigh-in bag. And I want you to get loud for Chris Johnston. Twenty-nine pounds and six ounces, and Chris inside the cut for now. I know you want to stay there. Yeah, it was uh, it was a tougher day for me today getting the fish in the boat. But to be honest, today was probably the best day of fishing I had on Grand Lake in the seven days I've been here. Um, got a lot of bites and. Uh, just, I need to go out tomorrow and get a little of the redemption. That's all. I'm, I'm a little mad at them. Um, had a chance at a good bag today. But uh, all in all, it's still been a great week. And uh, this crowd is amazing. Thank you, guys. Big shout out to my family. I see them over there at the signs. Thanks for coming down from Canada. Um, and yeah, this crowd and Bassmaster for having me here. It's a dream come true, having a chance to fish the Bassmaster Classic. We love having you here. And we hope you slide in there. He hails from Clinton, Arkansas. Please welcome Joey Safuentes. He is your reigning. Dakota Lithium Rookie of the Year, a two-time Elite Series champion. 
the sleepy cowboy. <laughs> It's a long drive back from the lake, ladies and gentlemen. At 13 pounds, seven ounces yesterday. I'm wore out, Dave. <laughs> wore out indeed, and that is part of competing in the Bassmaster Classic. It is a mental, physical grinder. 13-7, yes, a five fish to add to that here today. Looks like the scales wore out, too. <laughs> 12 pounds, 10 ounces, gives him 26 pounds and an ounce. He moves into ninth place currently. Let me hear it for the cowboy, Joey Sefuentes. <laughs> 26 pounds, an ounce, sitting in ninth place. I know you said you're wore out, but um, you, you might not have to make that drive tomorrow. Yeah, um, man, it was it was just a grind tournament for me. Today I had one fish all day long. Last 30 minutes I filled my limit uh, just in one pocket. But I want to tell you about the highlight of this classic for me. So yesterday when we came in, me and Takumi Ito were right next to each other. The wind was blowing. My hat blows off my head. He picks it up, puts it on his head. Well, the hat blows off of his head, goes in the lake, he catches it with a crankbait. He's over there fighting it, you know? And uh, he didn't say it, but I was thinking smallmouth Disneyland, you know? <laughs> I mean, I'm not smallmouth Disneyland, cowboy Disneyland, you know, cowboy head. Anyways, um, but man, it was a fun week. I, I really got to thank all the people that support me. Miller Tech, Lithium Batteries, man, they've, they've been awesome. They've been with me for a few years. Mercury, Phoenix, uh, Floatzilla, all the people out there, uh, Berkeley, Abu Garcia, you know, just, just supporting me and getting me to this stage. I mean, if it wasn't for those people, um, I definitely wouldn't be here. They all make awesome products, and uh, I've had a blast. I can't wait to come back here again. Uh, just, you know, fuels me up even more. I got my family out there, and uh, I love you guys. Thanks for coming from Arkansas, and I appreciate everybody supporting me. Um, and I got a cool hat when I can't wear my cowboy hat. It's, I, I left it on my boat over there, but it says cowboy hat. And so if anybody's interested in those are really cool, I'm gonna put them up. We'll do like a pre-order or something and uh, you know, get some fans, get some cool hats. People are wearing them up there. So I love you guys, thank you. From Scotland Neck, North Carolina, let's give a big Tulsa welcome to Powell Camp. Fishing his very first Bassmaster Classic. Qualified to be here through the St. Croix Bassmaster opens with a win on Bugs Isle. At 12 pounds, 10 ounces yesterday. He wants to hear some noise, ladies and gentlemen. 12, 10 yesterday, five fish to add to that here today. Nine pounds, 11 ounces with 22 pounds, five ounces. He moves into 15th place currently. But he is, for the rest of his life, he is a Bassmaster Classic qualifier. Let's hear it for him. <laughs> 22 pounds, five ounces. So uh, most likely gonna call an end to this Classic for you, but how much does this experience drive you to get back here? You know, I was sitting there and uh, two o'clock today, I dumped a five and a four back to back in about 15 minutes and I dropped my ride and I was mad. And then I said, you know, I said in fishing, I've been doing it long enough to know when it's your turn, it's your turn. Well, then I thought about all the people that want to be here, everybody out here and all the people back home and I'm blessed to be here and experience this experience no matter what happened in the tournament. So the Lord blessed us. Looking at it in a great way and I look forward to seeing you back here in the future. All the way from Queensland, Australia, please welcome Carl Jacobson.
Fish's second Bassmaster Classic, his second consecutive Bassmaster Classic. He's the only Australian ever to win a Bassmaster Elite Series event. Fear my heart, Carl Jacobson. Had 10 pounds, 14 ounces yesterday. Five fish to add to that here today. A bit better today. 13 pounds, seven ounces. Gives him 24 pounds, five ounces. And Carl Jacobson moves into 12th place currently. Twenty-four pounds, five ounces, so a little better today. But uh, don't know if it's going to be enough to go tomorrow. But uh, I know you're driven to get right back here, and you get back to that job in a couple of weeks' time in Florida. Yeah, mate, I uh, I almost made it happen. I picked the glide up this morning, and uh, in the first hour, I had nine bites, and uh, I landed two of those, and I just glued it in my hand. I think my marshal ended up counting. I had over twenty bites on the glide all day. I lost a six, I lost a bunch of fours. I had him hit the console and bounce back into the water. I had him miss the boat, land back in the water. Uh, it was, wasn't God's plan to uh, let me be in the cut today, but uh, I had a blast being able to do what I love and uh, throw the bait that I love and, and get a bunch of bites. And I'm, I'm fishing the Bassmaster Classic. This is incredible. My family's here, my mum and dad. and. <laughs> The Aussie and the Idaho crew, uh, uh, they certainly make up and just support me end over end. Um, I just, uh, I'm so grateful for Bassmaster, for my sponsors, for my family, my beautiful wife, my little daughter, and just everyone that supports me. And uh, tomorrow I'm gonna be working the, uh, the expo, so make sure you come in and uh, see us. I'll be at all of my sponsor booths. You guys last year, I didn't make the cut and uh, I worked the, worked the booth and everyone was just so cool just seeing how jacked up the fans get. From a kid from Australia that dreamt about fishing, the fans in the US, you guys will, uh, make this dream come true for me. So thank you very much for everything that you guys do and the passion that you have. Always awesome to have you here. We look forward to seeing you in a couple weeks time. From Catawba, North Carolina, put your hands together for Shane like you. Fishing his fifth Bassmaster Classic, the baby shark had a good day one, had 16 pounds, three ounces. It looks like another good day here today. 16-3 on day number one. Needs 17-9 to take the lead here, but it's all about getting inside the top 25. 13-13 with 30 pounds even. He moves into third place, just three pounds. 12 ounces short of the overall lead. Digging deep in that Crush City weigh-in bag. Let me hear it for the baby shark, Shane LeHue. Thirty pounds even. You should be fishing tomorrow, right? I hope so. Yeah, it was. Uh, I thought it was going to be a banger day. I second cast this morning. I caught a three pounder. A couple casts later, I caught another two something. I was like, oh, this is going to be a lot of fun. Then we kind of went woo. So <laughs> I don't know what happened. We rode the roller coaster the wrong way. We started at the top and went to the bottom and never got back to the top. So. Um, not sure what I'm going to do tomorrow. I ran around a lot today. I knew I had to catch something really big and, and do something really special to catch these guys at the top. But, uh, you know, tomorrow's a new day. I'm going to go sling around the Berkeley Square Bowl and the Berkeley Stunner again tomorrow. And hopefully we can uh, catch a couple five-pounders and get back into the top ten. It'd be nice to crack the top ten because, honestly, Dave, in these things, so far I've fished four of them and I've never made the cut. So. Um, this has been a, a great week so far. I absolutely love Grand Lake Grove. Tulsa, you guys showed up. Thank you guys. Love the fans. Without you guys, obviously, a lot of people say it. We couldn't do it. Say hi to my wife. She's out there in the crowd. So we'll see y'all tomorrow. We'll get rigged and get ready. He hails from Grand Rapids, Minnesota. Please welcome Easton Fothergill.
representing thousands of collegiate anglers. He is our 2023 Bassmaster College Series Bracket Champion. Representing the U University of Montevallo had 12 pounds, 13 ounces yesterday. Five fish to add to that here today. Let's see if we can get Easton inside our top 25. 17 pounds, two ounces with 29 pounds of 15 ounces. He looks to have done that, moves into fourth place currently. Get loud for him, ladies and gentlemen. Seventeen two, a great day number two, and uh, I think it's enough to go fishing tomorrow. What do you think? I don't know, man. I really want to go so bad. My first ever classic. It'd be crazy to make the final day. So, oh, I'm shaking, man. This is crazy. Speaking of shaking, look at that crowd. Look at how much support you have. That means the world to me, man. That's, I love all of them so much. It makes me speechless, man. It means the world to me. But, Oh, this is crazy, but no, I I scrapped everything today, ran all new water, and just it, it just it just happened. That's all I have to say. If I get to go tomorrow, I have no clue what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna run around with my head cut off again, and hopefully run into a couple more. Go get them. We hope you make that cut. Great to have you here. Ended up in a fur coat yesterday. Lord knows what's about to happen here today. Please welcome from. Katawa, Kentucky, Matt Robertson. Fishing his fifth Bassmaster Classic, a man more slick than an ugly stick, Matt Robertson. Taking that majestic fur coat off. Had a big day yesterday, 16 pounds, eight ounces. And Matt Robertson looks to have had a pretty decent day here today. Had 16, eight yesterday. We want to see him fishing on Championship Sunday. Five fish, 15 pounds, three ounces. With 31 pounds, 11 ounces. Matt Robertson moves into second place currently. Digging deep in that Crush City weigh-in bag. Let me hear it for Matt Robertson. Matt Robertson, two good days, but man, when I tuned in this morning, you had one bite real early, a big one, and I thought, look out, it's gonna be a firecracker day. Yeah, let me tell you something. We started out real strong. Cracked that one almost six right out the gate on the first cast. It was honestly about shit house luck, but I'll take it. And, uh, but yeah, man, and whoo, boy, let me tell you something. It was 256, and I had three fish in the live well, just caught one 30 minutes before that. And let me tell you something. You don't even want to know the things I told my camera guy I'd do for two more. And, and let me tell you something, don't plan on me paying up either. But I caught them two on back-to-back -back cast, and, uh, and man, it, it was unreal, and I was happy to have them. And, uh, yeah, we rode back in, and it was a heck of a day. Heck of a day. You're going to get a chance to fish tomorrow. But I... I Something just ain't right about you this week. I, I don't know what it is, but I don't, you just don't, I, I know what it is. <laughs> That's the Matt Robertson we know. I, I'm glad all that came off was the sleeves, to be honest. I told you that jacket made me powerful. Oh yeah, don't worry, I still got my pants on. <laughs> well, we might have saved that for Championship Sunday. 
Oh yeah, Chris, we're saving that for tomorrow. <laughs> no, uh, maybe I can get by with some jockey underwear instead of the whitey tidies. Lord, no, they'd look better than my old brown stained up ones I wore down in South Dakota. And no, them weren't poop stains, it was just aged. <laughs> You're having a great tournament. I'd love you to see you to hoist that title. The one and only Matt Robertson. Please welcome from Colgate, Oklahoma, Luke Palmer. Oklahoma anglers fishing in this event. He is an elite series champion. Let's welcome him a calm, cool cat from Colgate, Oklahoma. Had 15-10 yesterday. Five fish here today. 15-10 yesterday, today. Five fish, day number two. The Bass Pro Shops at Bass Master Classic. Presented by Jockey Outdoors. 14 pounds, four ounces, gives him 29 pounds, 14 ounces. And he moves into eight, sixth place currently. Let's hear it for Luke Palmer. Twenty nine fourteen. You're sitting in sixth place, and uh, I know you'd love to get back out there tomorrow. You know, I, I want to. You know, I, I love my sponsors, but uh, I'd a lot rather go fishing. You know, I don't want to have to be at the expo tomorrow. I've had to be there a couple of times, and it, like I said, I love seeing them. But uh, you know, I hope I'm not there. But go swing by Falcon, go by Phoenix, Amped Outdoors, Hook, get you some clothing, rods, boat, whatever you need. We got you covered. But. Uh, I love being in Oklahoma. I love seeing these crowds, and uh, I hope again we're here tomorrow up on this stage weighing in some fish and hopefully catches a heck of a bag tomorrow because uh, we're going to need it. But uh, thank you guys for showing out, showing up. That means a lot to us, and uh, it's Oklahoma, and I love being here. So let's go catch us a bag tomorrow. Go get rigged and get ready. Look forward to seeing you back tomorrow morning. All the way from Chiba, Japan, welcome Taku Ito. He is a four-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier, a Bassmaster Elite Series champion, and rapidly becoming a fan favorite on the Bassmaster Elite Series. No matter where we go, they love some Takumi Ito. Had 14 pounds and nine ounces yesterday. Five fish to add to that here today. Looks like a better day today. 14.9 yesterday, 17 pounds, 10 ounces today. He moves into second place with 32 pounds and three ounces. Takumi Ito gonna be fishing with us on Championship Sunday at the 54th Bassmaster Classic. Thirty-two pounds, three ounces, sitting in second place. And you're going fishing tomorrow. Wow! So I'm very happy. Now. So I think the fifteen pounds, sixteen pounds, but seventeen, ten, almost all eighteen. So now in the second place. So I'm very, very happy. So today I found a big fish school. So and uh, I try to get. It's pretty hard, but I got a couple of fish couple good ones and uh, today the total I think the 35 fish I got today so it's so hard every cast bite bite and uh, so very hard to hunt so but it's very fun day a fun day and you it's tournament is not over for you we talked about it a little bit yesterday your family up in the crowd incredible to have the support that you do have yes yeah, so today is a uh, uh, so yes, so my family coming and my U.S. family, uh, Mac and the Ria and the Joe Samantha coming and uh, my best friend, the Texas best friend and the Jeff and Randy coming uh, uh, this season. So that's awesome. So and uh, 
Yes, yes. So Bassmas Classic is the biggest tournament for me. So I, hopefully I want to be back tomorrow and I want to win. I would love to see it happen for you. Let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome from Oliva, Wisconsin, Pat Schlopper! He's a three-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier, a former Bass Nation national champion, and a double qualifier for the Bassmaster Elite Series through the Bass Nation and the Bassmaster Opens. Had 13 pounds, five ounces yesterday. Let's get him into championship Sunday. 10 pounds, four ounces, gives him 23 pounds, nine ounces, and I'm upset that we're not gonna have you tomorrow, and I'm doubly upset that we're not gonna see any ninja. Yeah, it was a tougher day, but I kind of stuck to my plan of, of sticking in one area where I knew there was some bigger fish, and I just never had any opportunities uh, to catch any of them. So um, still a fun day, super happy to be here, and uh, this will be one of my better classic performances, I think, if I stay in the top 50. So um, that's something to be proud of for me, and I hope I get back here next year or in many years to come because one of these times I'm going to be a factor in one of these things. Well, the good news is the battle to get back here starts in just a couple weeks' time. We're two events in the Elite Series, but a Florida swing coming up, and I know you got to be looking forward to that. Yeah, I am. You know, the, the year started off all right, but it's a long road to get here, and I think a lot of people take it for granted, and I'm not one of them, so I'm going to keep working hard and get here as many times as I can. Love to have you on the Elite Series. Love to have you in the Bassmaster Classic stage. From Eden Prairie, Minnesota. Please put your hands together for Austin Felix. He's a former Dakota Lithium Rookie of the Year. He's an Elite Series champion. And he is none other than the sleepy assassin, Austin Felix. Had 11 pounds, three ounces yesterday. Unfortunately, one short of his limit here today, just four fish. 12 pounds, 14 ounces. Gives him 24 pounds in an ounce. Digging deep in that Crush City bag. We're gonna hold him high, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it for the sleepy assassin. Twenty-four, one, and unfortunately outside of the projected cut this time around. But uh, man, we get right back to work on the Elite Series in a couple weeks' time. Yeah, uh, going out with eleven pounds, I knew we had to make something happen, and I actually caught those two four-pounders pretty early. Thought I was onto something, and it fizzled out early. I actually had a lot more fun today, though. I caught a couple fish worth hang worth holding on to. Um, I mean, what can I say? Other than one of these days, I'm going to figure out how to get this taken care of at a classic. I seem to stub my toe every year. Um, Got to thank a few of the sponsors. Don't let my results say anything on them. I got the best group of people. Sonar Pros rigged my Phoenix out. I got the clearest graphs, the most power with Dakota. It's just incredible. If you guys don't have those crappie break, bass breaks, and you work fish this lake a lot, I suggest you get them, they're the slickest deal, especially having to get into all those little docks. All you have to do is step on it, it pulls you right back out, it can stop you when you get at the right angle, so you don't have to spin your trolling motor around and blow everything out, but I'll uh, let you guys get back to it. Always great to have you here. Next up from Longview, Texas, put your hands together for Lee Livesey. He's a four-time Bassmaster winner, a two-time member of the Bassmaster Century Club, and he just happened to weigh in the third biggest bag in Bassmaster history on legendary Lake Fork just a few years ago. Had a big day number one, 18 pounds, 15 ounces, 
looking for 14 pounds, 13 ounces to take the lead here today. He needs 14 pounds, 13 ounces, 14 pounds, two ounces. He moves into second place, just 11 ounces short of the overall lead with 33 pounds and an ounce. Let me hear it for the people's champion, Lee Livesey. Lee Livesey, just a few ounces short of the overall lead, and, and uh, you are, you know, the self-professed people's champion, and uh, I want you to deliver to the people's as the people's champion. Tomorrow we kind of talked about it. Coming to Whiskey Myers Jammin', I know Cody Cannon's in the house. I want you to be the first Bassmaster Classic champion to literally have a live performance for your entrance song. Hey, I'm down. Cody texted me before I got off the stage last night and said he would serenade me right here. What do you guys think about that? We got any Whiskey Myers fans in the house? Well, you got a lot of fans cheering for you now because we want to see that. Yeah, uh, and, it, and it's not just that uh, group of family up there I got, you know. They're not all blood, friends, family, my mom and dad, sister, brother, my wife, obviously. I said my brother. I don't have a brother. Uh, <laughs> all the well, people. Now, that is actually my brother right there, just not by blood. It's my best friend, Chad, and, and I don't even know who I was up there. Uh, you know, Grand Lake is is awesome. Uh, man, I had people just walking out of their houses, out of tents, out of their teepees, just coming down, and it was it was 10 degrees. It felt like out there, man, just rooting me on. Uh, this place is amazing. Had a great cheering crowd on the lake, boats everywhere, just cheering us on. Uh, but like I'm saying, you know, it's not just that group of family I got right there. It's it's everybody in this crowd, everybody watching. Uh, but, you know, behind the scenes, the companies that support me, you know, Tackle Attic, B-Rob, you know, Brian, he's awesome. Casey at Six Cents, that whole crew, man, they're just killing it. Me, Ben, Josh Jones, I mean, what a pro staff they got going on there. Uh, Halo, American Bait Works, Gamagatsu, Sunline, Express, Yamaha, the, the list goes on. So many great companies on this jersey right here and on that boat uh, support me every day in and out to let me do this to let me have a dream, to let y'all watch my dream. And, and that's what, uh, that's what it gets me up every day. You know, like I said, I, I don't do it for the money. I do it for y'all. And uh, that's everybody, the family, the fans, and, and the sponsors. I want to thank y'all so much. And uh, we've got a shot. I don't know where we're going to end up. Justin's going to have a big lead. But, you know, I've came back before by seven pounds. Uh, this isn't Lake Fork, but let's see if we can make a little Lake Fork magic tomorrow. Grand Lake, I'm gonna show up tomorrow with a big old bag. I love y'all, thank y'all. Go get rigged and get ready. We'll see you back here tomorrow, brother. Our next angler hails from New Caney, Texas. Put your hands together for Ben Milligan. He is a Bassmaster Classic rookie. A Bassmaster Open champion. He is leading, co-leading the Dakota Lithium Rookie of the Year and the Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year race. Had 12 pounds even yesterday. Five fish here today. Needs 9-2 to get inside the cut. He's done that so far with 10 pounds, 13 ounces. Gives him 22 pounds, 13 ounces. You're inside the cut right now. But unfortunately, you're in 23rd, and uh, we're only at the halfway point of this way. And so I have a prediction that they're going to be a big lineup of 402 jerseys wanting to meet you tomorrow at the Expo. Man, look at this. we got so many people from, from Nebraska, from all over the place wearing 402 jerseys. We've got a Nebraska flag right up here in the front. Amazing support from the family up there. This tournament did not go how we wanted it to, man. I really thought we could throw those provoke jerk baits, those six fence provokes on those brush piles. That bite was like, you know, 20 pounds a day in practice and uh, it just disappeared. So unfortunately I was too hard headed. I tried to run that for a couple days and uh, finally with about an hour left today, decided to go pick up that six cents flat 75 Gillikin color ran some rock with it and uh, got what we weighed in today. It's not much, but uh, 
man, it's, it's great seeing all these people here. Total disappointment, and um, we're going to get after it in Florida here in a couple weeks, and we are going to win it next year in Texas. I look forward to seeing it. Let's hear it for the next big thing, Ben Milliken. From Opelika, Alabama, please welcome Kyle Welter. It is his third Bassmaster Classic, but this one a little different because he's rolling in here as our reigning and defending progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year. Had 13 pounds, eight ounces yesterday. Let me hear it for Stone Cold Kyle Welcher. 13, eight yesterday. Five fish to add to that here today. 16 pounds, four ounces with 29 pounds, 12 ounces. He's inside the top 10 in ninth place currently. Get loud for Stone Cold Kyle Welcher. Kyle, a better day today, and it might be just enough to get you out there again tomorrow. And we've seen some giant comebacks here on the in this event on this very body of water. And I know you'd love to see that happen tomorrow. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you look back at classics, it always seems like it's decided on the final day. It almost seems like anything that happened the previous two days don't even matter. And I love being a part of this tournament. So I hope we caught just enough to be able to go again tomorrow because I love seeing all y'all here, but I'd a lot rather see y'all from the stage than inside the expo. Well, we'll find out at the end of this way. And but uh, man, it's been awesome to have you here. I don't think you're going anywhere. I think you got enough. Yeah, you know, I hope so. I was kind of doing the math and bass track, as most of y'all know, it can, can, can kind of lead you astray every once in a while. But I think we'll get to go again tomorrow. I said yesterday that I figured something out with like two hours left. But I've been hard-headed, and finally I just said, you know, let's go fish how we want to fish, and we caught a couple big ones. So if we can go tomorrow, I think it'll be good. I'm looking forward to watching it go down. From Peterborough, Ontario, please welcome Corey Johnston. Fishing his fifth Bassmaster Classic. He's a Bassmaster Open winner, a four-time Canadian Open champion. Rolling in in the power pole, wrapped a Ranger Mercury. Corey Johnson had 12 pounds, 15 ounces yesterday. Needs 9.7 currently to get inside the cup. More to stay there till the end of our way, and we are halfway through. 16 pounds, nine ounces, moves into 10th place with 29 pounds and eight ounces. And Corey Johnson may have done enough to get himself inside Championship Sunday at the Bass Pro Shops, a Bassmaster Classic presented by Jockey Outdoors. Twenty nine pounds, eight ounces sitting in 10th place right now. So uh, day number two, a much better day. What changed? Man, I just went fishing today. I put a big rod in my hand, uh, used my Daiwa flipping rod that I designed, 20 pound Seaguar and a six cents hybrid jig. And uh, I went flipping all day doing what I love to do. And um, it, it worked out. So uh, I'm hoping to get to go tomorrow and, uh, and do it all again. But I do got to say hi to my family. I know my little guy, Luke, he's at home. I got to say hi to him. Jack's up here in the stand somewhere. My family's up there, so uh, I'm just hoping to get to go tomorrow, man. I had fun today, so I'm gonna do it again. We'll fire through this way and as quick as we can and get you an answer. From Naugatuck, Connecticut, please put your hands together for Paul Mueller. He's a former Bass Nation national champion, a five-time classic qualifier, and a two-time Elite Series champion. Holds the all-time record for the five biggest fish ever weighed in in Bassmaster Classic competition at 12.5 yesterday. Five fish to add to that here today. Nice. 
12 pounds, five ounces yesterday, five fish here on day number two, Bass Pro Shops Bassmaster Classic, presented by Jockey Outdoors. <laughs> 14 pounds, six ounces, gives him 26 pounds, 11 ounces. He moves into 17th place currently. Tulsa, Oklahoma, let me hear it for Paul Mueller. Twenty six pounds, eleven ounces. Not sure if it's going to be enough. I don't think it'll be enough. You know, I think I needed one or two more big bites. Uh, you know, I had a pretty tough day yesterday, but uh, had a good week here. You know, the bite was tough. The bite changed. I think I just fished the wrong area of the lake. Um, you know, I'm, I'm just really blessed to be here. It was really hard to, to make it to this uh, classic. I had three really bad events to start the year and just dug such a hole. So the good Lord blessed me to get here. You know, I wouldn't be here without my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That's, that's why I'm here. Uh, I've been on tour for 10 years, and uh, I don't take any of it for granted. God's made a way. Uh, I fish for a living. I'm extremely blessed, and I give God all the glory. So... Um, Thankful for the sponsors that, you know, have supported me throughout the years. I have some sponsors that I've had since I was a pro, or before I was a pro, and, and all the sponsors that, you know, that I have now are, they're just great companies. And like I said, I'm really blessed to, to be able to fish for a living. I mean, I haven't worked a day in my life uh, since I won the Forestwood Cup as a co-angler in 2011. So it's pretty crazy, you know, because a lot of people want to do this. I remember being a kid. You know, watching Bassmaster on TNN and ESPN and dreaming to be here, and I fished five of these, and I'll tell you, I want to win one of these. I really wanted to win this week, and I didn't know how, what was, you know, was going to happen based off of practice, but I'll be back, and I'll hopefully win one one day. Looking forward to seeing y'all season on the Elite Series. This win's going pretty good. I mean, we started a little late, but we're firing through them. But I think people are going to get real, real loud, because one of my favorite times of the day is Hamner time. That's right, and please welcome from Northport, Alabama, Justin Hamner. He is your day one leader, had 22 pounds and six ounces. He is digging deep in that live well. Double guns loaded, bang, bang. Justin Hamner delivers for the second day in a row. And he may be five fish away from becoming a Bassmaster Classic champion in only his second Bassmaster Classic. Hot off a top 10 finish on the Bassmaster Elite Series. Whoa, he's got a bag of groceries there. Had 22 pounds and six ounces. Needs 11.6 to take the lead. You think he's got it? 20 pounds even with 42 pounds, six ounces. Justin Hamner has our brand new Bass Pro Shops at Daily Leader. And that, my friends, is a Crush City monster bag. And for the second day in a row, Justin Hamner is leading the Bass Pro Shops of Bassmaster Classic presented by Jockey Outdoors. How about that? Say it one more time. Justin Hamner is leading the Bassmaster Classic. You've heard it for real life now, but how many times have you heard that in your dreams? So many times. It'd be scary to know what all you've heard in my dreams. <laughs> uh, well, well, I don't even want to get into your dreams because I could only imagine. But man, this dream, you were literally five fish away from winning the Bassmaster Classic. Two weeks ago, we did a podcast together. I asked you what you were doing next. You told me you were going to win the Bassmaster Classic. I don't know if you're Cleo the fortune teller or what. But, dude, a dream may come true for you here this week. I ain't never been called a liar, so I'll tell you that. 
It's been unreal. I'm having so much fun out there. I don't know what it is, that feeling, but man, it's good and just relaxed, calm, and I'm getting to fish how I like to fish, but it's not even that. I mean, I got attacked by a goose today. Did anybody see that? A goose? Yeah, it's freaking awesome. It's just my week. What happened? It made me mad, so I bowed up on it and it bowed up back. Who who won the battle? Did live cut off for a little bit? I, I didn't see it. You didn't see that goose anymore. It's a bit. It's a very good point. It's a very good point. How's the family feeling? Last week, two weeks ago at Fork, I saw them. They were shaking like a leaf at a shot you had to win there. And I kind of said to them, I said, if it's meant to happen, it'll happen. But if it's not, it's building towards something. I had no idea it was building towards a Bassmaster Classic title. That's what all this is for. Yeah, I want to win it, but I want us to win it. Who wants to see Justin Hamner become a Bassmaster Classic champion? Five fish away. You gonna sleep tonight? No, but mama, if you forget my Milo's in the morning, we're gonna have a problem. A couple weeks ago, you were pitching Milo's for a sponsorship and uh, you are now leading the Bassmaster Classic and uh, a better way to pitch them is just to look in that camera right now and give them the line. Drink Milo's tea if you want to be a Bassmaster Classic champion. Roll Tide. That one was free, but the next one will be a lot more expensive. Let's hear it for Justin Hamner. Next up from Yamanshi, Japan. Kiyoya Fujita. A two-time Elite Series champion, a two-time member of the Bassmaster Century Club, and a two-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier. Look at that. Had 10 pounds, 13 ounces yesterday, but it looks like much more here today. Oh boy. The hits keep coming. From Hamner time, the Japanese prince of professional bass fishing joins the stage. 10-13 yesterday, a very rare tough day, but not today, a much better day. Five fish, 19 pounds and an ounce with 29 pounds, 14 ounces. Kyoya Fujita has yet another Crush City monster bag of the day. Twenty nine pounds, 14 ounces. What a difference a day makes. He's inside the top 10 in ninth place currently and a better day today. Yeah, very good day. So yesterday, no good. Uh, so change plan, change tactics. So I try shallow water fishing. So three big fish catch. Yeah, it looks like you're going to get a shot to go tomorrow. How long have you dreamed of winning the Bassmaster Classic? Uh, maybe 10 years, yeah. I watched a watch, uh, Japanese TV show, uh, Bassmaster Classic, so Takahiro Omori and uh, Morizo Shimizu. Uh, so maybe 15, I'm 15 years old, so maybe 10, 12, 12, 12. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> big bass, big stage, big dreams, and you've traveled across the other side of the world to chase those dreams. And I gotta say this, your English is getting incredibly good. Let's hear it for that, ladies and gentlemen.
But right now, all around the world, we have Bassmaster fans watching. We have Bassmaster fans watching in Japan, and I want to give you an opportunity to speak to them in your native language. Say something to the Japanese fans. Okay, uh, ja I speak Japanese. Okay. えっと、今日はえ、サロに切り替えて、このでかいのだけ狙ってみたら、あの、3本かなりでかいのが釣れて、結構ウェイト跳ね上がりました。あの、明日ももうでかいのだけ狙っていこうと思うんで、え、それで
welcome Jacob Porowski. He is a four-time Bassmaster winner, a former Dakota Lithium Rookie of the Year, an unbelievable 20 Bassmaster top 10s at nine pounds, 10 ounces yesterday. Needs a big day to get inside the cut here today. Nine, 10 yesterday, five fish here today. Looking for 14, 11 to get in the cut. 10, 10 moves into 33rd place with 20 pounds and four ounces. Tough one this time around, Jacob, but uh, we get right back to the battle to get back here. We're going to Texas next year for the 55th Bassmaster Classic, and I know you'd like to be part of it. And you, yeah, absolutely, but just wanted to say something about that two bass I held up. That was a boyfriend and girlfriend, if you know what I mean, you know what I'm saying? Uh, they kind of showed up this afternoon late, and uh, well, I'm pretty sure they were there yesterday. I just fished right over top of them, you know, just, oh, I, they were biting so good in practice, I didn't slow down and, and execute. And I went back to that one today and pulled in. And I actually, I made a couple casts, got my bait hung up, and got kind of mad. Charged the bank and was trying to get my worm undone and looked to the thing where I'd been casting. And there she sat, and him, him and her. So I caught that one, went around the corner, and there's a four and a seven pounder laying there. Fished for them for an hour and 30 minutes. <laughs> Had her bite a couple times, but. You know, they're just moving up. They hadn't laid, you know, laid eggs and stuff. But it's been a, it was, you know, we're about a week off. And, uh, you know, it would have, have been really fun. So, but hats off to the guys that caught them. Hats off to all my sponsors. It's also, y'all have been great, my family. I love y'all. And uh, we'll see you next time. We love having you here. We'll see you on the Elite Series. Before we bring through our next angler, talk about it yesterday i mean we're firing through this way and as quick as we can we started a little late and we know you guys are the greatest fans on earth we don't have commercial breaks we just want to make our sponsors feel warm and fuzzy especially the brand new sponsor that is our presenting sponsor let's get loud for jockey outdoors ladies and gentlemen Get some gear at the expo or catch some here at the weigh-in tomorrow because it is going to be a fun one. Let's keep them rolling. All righty, next from DeBerry, Florida, please welcome John Cox. Had a big day number one at his sixth Bassmaster Classic. He's a two-time Bassmaster winner, a nine-time FLW Tour winner at 16 pounds, 14 ounces on day number one. Five fish for John Cox here today. Sixteen fourteen on day number one, looking for 7-7 seven, seven to get inside the cut. Currently 10 pounds, 11 ounces with 27 pounds, nine ounces. He moves into 19th place with 27 pounds and nine ounces. Twenty-seven pounds and nine ounces, and uh, in nineteenth place, but uh, probably not gonna stay inside the top twenty-five. Gosh, man, I, I caught that one nice one uh, first thing this morning, and I was like, "Oh man, here we go!" And I was really excited, but uh, you know, it didn't work out. But it's been an awesome week. I mean, this crowd here is awesome. I'm so happy my family over there. Uh, man, they've been uh, driving back and forth, and um, you know, sleepless nights and. Uh, gosh, I just got to thank them and thank all my sponsors. And I, I'm excited. If I don't make it, I'm going to get to come hang out with you guys tomorrow at the show. So you guys all come and see me. Uh, I hope to meet every one of you guys. Look forward to seeing you over there. Always great to have them here. From Somerville, South Carolina, Patrick Walters. He is a four-time Bassmaster winner, fishing his fifth Bassmaster Classic. 
a three-time member of the Bassmaster Century Club, had 10-10 yesterday, but promised us a bit of a comeback here today. Hammerback yesterday. 14 pounds even is what he needs to get inside the top 25, 17 pounds, eight ounces, gives him 28 pounds and two ounces, and he is inside the top 25 in 19th place currently. about here today and uh, but I got to talk to you about your roommate he, he was telling me you know Justin Hamner you guys roomed together throughout the elite series and he said you know I always go over to see Patrick and he's he, he will not touch an elite series trophy because he hasn't won one Justin Hamner and he's like Patrick's always telling me they're so heavy you don't know <laughs> how tough it is to hold them up we might he might tell you how heavy a classic title is tomorrow Trust me, I'm pretty excited about it. That's a heavy weight, and I'm, I'm super excited for him. I could zero both days just to watch him win this one. So uh, I'm, I'm rooting for him. I'm telling you, everything we got, I hope he goes catches 30 pounds tomorrow and is at the dock at 1 o'clock, and it's game over. Um, and you know what's funny is me and Hamner share everything. You know, we shared all our spots. We knew where the fish were, where we thought they were going to be. He said, where are you going to start? I said, I'm going to start in these two pockets. He said, well, I'll start in this creek. And uh, he won the coin toss, <laughs> and he's cracking them. So uh, congrats to him. I, I'm probably going to drive him to the boat lane. I don't think I'm going to be fishing tomorrow, but I'm going to be driving him to the boat lane in the, in the morning, and uh, hopefully he'll get it done. I, uh, I didn't this week. I struggled on day one. I feel like that's been uh, the theme of this year. The first two tournaments I've struggled, day one, every, both times. But big thanks to my family, my lovely wife, my mom for being here. My dad, he's been on the road with me for five weeks. It, I don't know how me and him have not fist fought yet. We, that is my best friend. Everything we go through, it, you, you can't beat that. So uh, you either win the Classic or you don't. And we didn't this week, so if I don't, I'd rather Justin win it all day. Great champion both on and off the water. He comes to us from Nashua, New Hampshire. Put your hands together for Tim Doobie. He is a Bassmaster Classic rookie representing the Bass Nation. It is Doobie time. Tim Doobie rolling in in that beautiful Nitro Mercury package is part of Bass Nation's best. You can see him all season long on the Bassmaster Elite Series. Had 14 pounds and five ounces yesterday. Looking for 10 pounds, six ounces here today to get inside the cut. 12-12, he's done that so far in 22nd place with 27 pounds and an ounce. Twenty-seven, one, sitting in twenty-second place right now. So uh, I'm not real good at arithmetic, but uh, there's a lot of anglers still to come. Not sure you're going to work tomorrow, but man, you're a Bassmaster Classic qualifier, and we get right back at it in Florida in a couple of weeks' time. Yeah, this whole experience was absolutely unbelievable. It's a true honor representing the Bass Nation. Everybody here. This stadium is jam-packed. It is awesome. Uh, I think I'm going to be on the wrong side of the bubble, but you're not going to see me uh, upset with 12 pounds of Grand Lake bass because I had a blast out there. It's awesome to have you here, and uh, I love having you on the Elite Series. We'll see you in Florida. Yeah, I got my work cut out because uh, I have seven more Elite Series tournaments, and I definitely want to be back in 25, so I'm going to do my best because the, uh, the red carpet has been rolled out by Bassmaster in Tulsa. It's just absolutely unbelievable. Thank you guys so much. You're awesome. We'll see you in a couple of weeks. They're going to get loud now, John. All right. Welcome from Wrath Drum, Idaho, Brandon Polinick.
He is a 13-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier, a six-time Bassmaster winner, a two-time Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year and a former Bass Nation National Champion. And he is a second place finish in the Bassmaster Classic right here on Grand Lake. And after 13 pounds, seven ounces yesterday, it looks like a better day here today. He needs 12.9 to get inside the cut currently. More to stay there to the end of the way in. 17 pounds even. And he rockets into the top 10 in seventh place with 30 pounds and seven ounces. Get loud for the prodigy, Brandon Polinick. Thirty pounds, seven ounces, and you said you dealt with all that that bad juju yesterday. And I mean, I, you clearly showed that you're inside the top ten. And you're saying there's a chance. All I need is a chance, and uh, I mean, it's crazy. Like, you're just always tested in this sport, just constantly. It's, and that's how life is. You're just, you're tested and tested and tested. And you push through, like yesterday, I, I kept pushing and pushing, and then it just, all of a sudden I realized I had to go check in, and I, I believed it was gonna happen. And I went out there believing it was gonna happen today. I fished the exact same water. I threw the exact same Mega Bass Z2 crankbait I had tied on, and I just caught bigger fish. It's that, it's that simple. It means you get cut ice cream tonight, and I, I know the crew is excited about that. Yeah, it was getting a little, uh, it was getting a little rough sleeping on the, the deck of my Skeeter after the first event at Toledo when I missed the cut, and it's going to be pretty cold tonight, so I'm glad I'm going to be back in the camper with some cut ice cream. Well, it looks like a big group that needs that ice cream, so better make some money here this week to pay that bill off. We'll see you tomorrow. Dave, our next angler comes to us from Ellaville, Georgia. Put your hands together for Justin Barnes. Had a good day, number one, at his very first Bassmaster Classic, 15 pounds even yesterday. Qualified through the St. Croix Bassmaster Opens with 15 pounds after day number one. He needs 11 pounds in an ounce to keep his tournament alive and get inside the top 25. 13.10 gives him 28 pounds, 10 ounces. He moves into 20th place currently with 28 pounds and 10 ounces. Digging deep in that Cross City weigh-in bag. Let me hear it from you. Inside that cut right now, but uh, not a lot of cushion sitting in 20th place, but man, you're a Bassmaster Classic qualifier. Dave, I hope it's enough. That's all I can tell you, man. And uh, next thing is I got to figure out how to get back here because this is pretty awesome. It is the greatest event in professional bass angling. And uh, for the rest of your life, you'll be a qualifier. And uh, I know you're driven to get back here. Fishing the opens, I imagine. I'm going to fish some next year. Can't do all nine, unfortunately. but. Uh, Definitely going to try to get back to the Classic somehow or another. Um, I just want to thank all my friends and family up here supporting me, everybody back home watching. I appreciate it. We love having you here. Congrats on becoming a Classic Qualifier. From the West Coast, Roseville, California, Brian Smith. Bryant Smith fishing his very first Bassmaster Classic after his first season on the Bassmaster Elite Series. Weighed in the biggest of five smallmouth bass in Bassmaster history up on the St. Lawrence River with 29 pounds, five ounces. Yesterday had 14.10. Five fish to add to that here today. 
14 pounds, 11 ounces. He moves into 17th place with 29 pounds and five ounces. Let me hear it for Bryant Smith. Twenty nine pounds, five ounces. So a consistent tournament you're having here. You're in 17th place. Pretty good shot. You're going tomorrow. Yeah, man, that was the goal. That was the goal. You know, uh, it's going to be hard to win this thing, but you really can't win it if you're not there. And uh, had to scrap everything yesterday. Started new today. And when, if we're fishing tomorrow, we'll probably start new again. Love to see you out there tomorrow, but you're gonna get a chance to get rigged and ready. I think you've done enough, but your first classic, you gotta get back here, huh? Oh, dude, there's nothing like this. This whole show has been absolutely incredible. I got my family here. That means the absolute world to me. All the fans out here, man, you guys are awesome. And uh, hopefully we're fishing tomorrow. We'll find out here just shortly. From Sturgeon's Point, Wisconsin, Sturgeon's Bay, Wisconsin, Adam Rasmussen! Had a big day number one, had 19 pounds and five ounces. Qualified through the St. Croix Bassmaster Opens. 19 pounds, five ounces yesterday. Looking for 23 pounds, two ounces to take the lead, but only needs seven pounds, 12 ounces to get inside the top 25. And I don't think there is a doubt of that. 17 pounds, 10 ounces. He rockets all the way into second place with 36 pounds, 15 ounces. How about that, Cross City Monster Bag? In your very first Bassmaster Classic, you are sitting in second place and you're five fish away from winning the Super Bowl of bass fishing. It's pretty hard to believe, ain't it? Uh, yeah, this bass fishing is not really easy, man. I was stressed out to the max today. But uh, sun came out at the end of the day and caught a couple key fish to get me in the, I think I'll be in the Super 6. Look, it looks like it right now. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's awesome. I can't wait. I'm stoked to get out there tomorrow. Glad that I'm going to have a chance at this. Uh, I'm Definitely going to have to do something different tomorrow if I want to win, but uh, we'll figure it out as we go. The good news is you're going to get a shot. Go get rigged and get ready. We look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow morning. From Warfield, Kentucky, put your hands together for Matt Messer. Forty down and sixteen anglers left to roll through here. He's fishing his very first a Bassmaster Classic. At twelve pounds even yesterday, five fish to add to that here today needs fifteen four to get inside the cut currently. Another qualifier from the St. Croix Bassmaster opens. 12 pounds even yesterday, looking for 15 pounds and four ounces here on day number two. Bass Pro Shops, Bass Master Classic presented by Jockey Outdoors. Nine pounds even with 21 pounds. He moves into 40th place, but he is a Bass Master Classic qualifier, and you can see him all season long battling out in the Bass Master Open EQs. Let me hear it from you, Tulsa. Twenty-one pounds even. You move into fortieth place. So unfortunately, not going to be fishing tomorrow. But uh, as I said moments ago, you're battling it out in the Bassmaster Open EQs, and uh, we'd love to see you back here. Yeah, absolutely. This is—I've uh, always wanted to fish it. Now that I've fished one of them, I definitely want to come back. 
But today I kind of knew what I had. After catching 12 yesterday, ran down to my stuff, knew I couldn't just sit down there and die. So I caught a limit, started up the motor, and ran all the way up in the river, just trying to find new water and just get a restart on the weekend. Didn't run into nothing else, but I felt like that's what I had to do, just make a move. It was the only chance I had to catch a bag and come back. Well, you're Bassmaster Classic qualifier, and I can't wait to watch you battle it out on the EQs. All the way from Cropwell, Alabama, Joey Nunia. Speaking of the Bassmaster Opens, he has won two of them, making him a two-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier. Finished 13th at his first Bassmaster Classic back in 2022. Digging deep in that Skeeter live well. Had 14 pounds, six ounces yesterday. Looking for 12 pounds, 14 ounces here today to get inside our top 25. 12 pounds, 13 ounces. He moves into 26th place currently, just outside of our top 25. But with 27 pounds, three ounces, going to call an end to Joey Nania's Bassmaster Classic. But keep your eye on this young angler. He'll be back here again in the future. Twenty-seven pounds and three ounces outside of the cut. So I mean, uh, looking at the bright side, at least you don't got to be stressed backstage. Uh, you you know you're you'll expo bound tomorrow. I am, you know, and I know that for whatever reason God wants me there at the expo tomorrow, and uh, I'm excited to get over there and to see all the fans and to see anybody that supports me and everyone that supports bass fishing. I love to talk fishing with people, but if you guys want to come up to me and talk to me about my faith and talk to me about my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I would love to share that with you guys. I'm excited that I get to go home this week and that is worth a round of applause. God is good guys and he has a perfect plan. He had a plan for this entire week before we even got here and I believe that and I know there's a lot of you guys in here that understand that. Um, and I'm just excited to get over there. I got an amazing family up there. Got my wife Jessica, my son Noah right there. He just lifted his arms up. He's 16 months old and he actually let me sleep last night, which was nice. My son Zeke, who's 10, and Eli, my eight-year-old, holding the big Joey and the fat head over there. And then we also, um, talking about how God works, we're actually adopting a 17-year-old and he's gonna be moving in with us when we get home. And that's just how God's worked in our lives. And that young man actually led two teenage girls to the Lord in the last week. So that's Colton Morris, soon to be Colton Nania. So we're going to be a family of four traveling on the Bassmaster Opens for the rest of the season. And uh, I'm just so blessed and grateful. And I love each and every one of you guys. Awesome words as always. All the way from Osaka, Japan, Kenta Kaimira. From Osaka, Japan, but makes his home on Grand Lake when he is in the United States. Fishing his second Bassmaster Classic, a Bassmaster Open champion. Had 14 pounds even yesterday. Needs 13.4 here today to get inside our top 25. 12 pounds, eight ounces just outside the top 25, he moves into 29th place currently. And unfortunately, not going to be fishing on Championship Sunday this time around. Yeah, I, for some reason, I couldn't get a bigger fish bite all day. So, you know, I kind of limit pretty early in the morning with a Depths Evoke 1.2 square bell crankbait. But, you know, I should have just slowed down on this afternoon. But still happy to be here, you know, fishing Bassmaster Classic with a one of my favorite people here in Oklahoma. And uh, I can't think enough to Toby and his family. They, I guess they're here somewhere. I, I'm sure I could not fish America without their help. So yeah, I really want to say thanks to all my people and also sponsor and family. You know, they've been really understandable to what I'm doing. So thanks. Nine Red Bulls yesterday, how many today? 
you know what? It was too cold this morning. <laughs> I couldn't start it up, so that's why I didn't catch him today. Oh, okay. Well, we look forward to seeing you in a couple of weeks of the Elite Series. From Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, put your hands together for Josh Wiesner. Representing the Bass Nation at his very first Bassmaster Classic. Had a tough day number one. Had to make a walk of shame across here without a bass, but he's got a limit today. Get loud for Wiesner. The thrill of victory and the agony of angling, and what a difference a day makes. Josh Wiesner with five fish here today. 16 pounds, 10 ounces. He moves into 45th place and grand redemption for Josh Wiesner at his very first Bassmaster Classic. That's a little more like it. That's more fun, huh? God, I, I'm trying to figure this all out, like what happened yesterday, you know, and I got it figured out. When we took off yesterday, you announced my name wrong. I, I did, it was my fault. And the whole time, like I'm driving through, doing the turn, and I'm like, am I even supposed to be here? Because it wasn't really, you know, it wasn't really my name. Yeah. I mean, it was, it was messed up, so. Um, Wiesner catches them way better than Wiesner. Absolutely. 100%. So the whole day I made one cast, my first cast, and I'm like, I feel like I'm fishing illegal. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm not supposed to be here. So you know what? I played it safe, didn't bring any fish in. Well, I apologize for ruining your Bassmaster Classic. Yeah, I think uh, let's, uh, you know, I'm probably going to be back here at some point, I, I'm hoping. Um, let's, can the audience help me out here? So, so Dave doesn't ever forget how to say my last name. I think you've already freaking done that. At the count of three, I want you to all say Wiesner. One, two, three. Wiesner! I, I feel exactly like I did when I was in school and they made me write lines right now. Uh, it was a, this is a good time. Um, you know, I was on that kind of program and wait with uh, the first day, and the problem was I had so many spots that I caught them practice, and I caught them all on spinner baits. And I would try something else, and they wouldn't eat anything else. So the first day, I just ran the whole program with spinner baits, and at freak out time, two o'clock, and I didn't have nothing. I, I realized I should have tried something else. But that's how it works. Um, had a great time, you know, being here, and, and you guys run, a, run an awesome deal, and look forward to getting back here. After this tongue lashing, I'm starting to feel like maybe I should try something else. Let's hear it for Josh Wiesner. This is the World Championship of Professional Bass Fishing, the Bassmaster Classic, and we could not do this without the great host communities that we go to. Tulsa, Oklahoma, the Tulsa Sports Commission, Grand Lake, Grove, Oklahoma. You guys have been an incredible host for the third time the Bassmaster Classic has returned here. Who's happy to have the Bassmaster Classic here in Tulsa, Oklahoma? Let's keep them rolling. All right, next up from Silacaga, Alabama, Will Davis. He's an elite series champion, the back-to-back -back Bass Nation national champion. Will Davis Jr. had a good day, number one, 16 pounds and three ounces. Five fish to add to that here today. 
He's 11-1 to get inside the top 25. 10 pounds, 12 ounces, just short of that in 28th place with 26 pounds, 15 ounces. Get loud for Will Davis Jr. Twenty six pounds, fifteen ounces, just short of the top twenty five. But man, Bassmaster Classic, and uh, we get right back to the challenge of making another Bassmaster Classic in a couple of weeks' time. Yeah, man, you know it's a it's a blessed, and you know it's such an honor to be on this stage, you know. And you know things didn't go my my way today. I never got a big bite, you know. All my equipment worked, you know, like it should. It was the best in the business, you know. Nitro, mercury. Powerhouse lithiums, Minn Kota, uh, straight up mounts, and MMA rods, and cast keying reels, and, and I know some more that I'm probably forgetting, but you know, I just want to say thank, thank you to all you fans, and um, thank you to all my sponsors, because without y'all and without them, I would not be able to do this. And thank you to all my family and friends that came out to support me this week. And uh, we had a close uh, family friend that passed away not too long ago, Melinda Palmer and uh, their family, um, Mel, Miles, and Matthew are here. And I uh, just want to say thank y'all for coming during this hard time. And yeah, man, I got to step it up next time. And, you know, it's just one of them deals. So just looking forward to the uh, Harris chain and, and uh, St. John's. We'll see you in Florida. And congrats on another qualification here to the Bassmaster Classic. Another major reason the Classic is the Classic is the official tow vehicle of Bass. Toyota has been a longtime sponsor of Bass, a longtime supporter of bass fishing. They do more for bass fishing than all the other trucks companies combined. Let's hear it for Toyota, ladies and gentlemen. And speaking of Toyota, I, we have a Team Toyota Angler coming in next. Direct from Shelby, North Carolina. Put your hands together for Matt Airy. He's a five-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier, a two-time FLW Tour winner and a proud member of Team Toyota, Matt Airy, came close to winning the Classic just a few years ago with a bridesmaid finish here. Had 13 pounds, three ounces yesterday, looking for 14-1 here today to get inside the top 25 with just 10 anglers left to weigh in here today. Looking for 14 pounds and an ounce, five fish here today. Day number two of the Bass Pro Shops. Bass Master Classic, 16 pounds, seven ounces. He moves into 14th place with 29 pounds and 10 ounces. 29, 10, and it looks like Matt Airy is gonna be fishing with us on Championship Sunday. Twenty nine ten, a better day today, and uh, by the looks of things, you're going fishing tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, man, it was fun out there on Grand. I actually, I used my instincts and Mother Nature, and uh, the wind blew about 15 out of the north. It's going to blow, from what I saw on my wind finder app, looks like 30 out of the south of the bar. The good thing about that, it's going to change a lot of things. I need a lot of things to change to have a shot at this thing. So, you know, there's a chance you get to go on day three. Um, you know, every time that curtain opens, I get goosebumps. I've done this several times with you, Dave, and it, it just never gets old. I, I, I wish everybody in this room could experience that feeling. But, you know, regardless of what happens tomorrow, I've already won. If you see that group right up there, yeah, that's it. That, that's my world. Incredible support. You're an incredible angler. Go get rigged and get ready because you're going to be part of Championship Sunday. Direct from Ultawa, Tennessee. Put your hands together for Hunter Shyrock. He is a four-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier, a former motocross racer, now makes his living on the Bassmaster Elite Series. Had 14-1 yesterday. 
looking for 13.8 here today as we wind down our day two weigh-in. Less than 10 anglers left to weigh in. 13 pounds, 10 ounces. He's in 25th place with 27 pounds, 11 ounces. Hunter Shryock right on the bubble with 27 pounds, 11 ounces. Get loud for him, ladies and gentlemen. Twenty-seven, eleven. the good news is you're in the top 25. The bad news is we have uh, nine anglers left to weigh in, and um, yeah, you don't need to have a kiss to figure that out. Yeah, you know what? This place is still a blast, though. I tell you what, I'm a little surprised because I sat there and pitched around a little Berkeley Maxent Creature Hog with 25-pound Berkeley Trilene fluorocarbon. I'm sure you guys all remember the dock fiasco from Lake Murray. Well, now I'm upgraded to 25 pounds, so metal dock cables and posts and stuff like that. And I figured it wasn't gonna be a consistent thing, but I figured it was something that I, you know, one day I was gonna have a big day. So it didn't happen. And uh, you know what, that's what, that's the classic though. You gotta go off of what you feel confident in and uh, you know, it just didn't work out. But I gotta thank a lot of people, X2 Power, Academy, Abu Garcia. There's a, a lot of people that I'm missing. Uh, my family's up there somewhere, my little boy, love you guys. And I, I appreciate all you guys coming out. This makes a dream come true for all of us anglers. We work so hard to get to this point. And there's going to be about 55 of us that leave here disappointed. But you know what? Someone's going to, uh, life is going to change. And so it really uh, falls back on you guys. And we thank you so much. Always great to share the stage with you. He comes to us from Benton, Arkansas, Mr. Stetson Blaylock. Had 15 pounds, two ounces yesterday, fishing his fifth Bassmaster Classic. He's an Elite Series champion and looking for 12 pounds and nine ounces to get inside our top 25. Unfortunately, one short of his limit here today, four fish on day number two of the 54th Bassmaster Classic, the Bass Pro Shops Bassmaster Classic, presented by Jockey Outdoors. 11 pounds, 12 ounces. Moves into 31st place currently, and uh, unfortunately, this one not going to work out the way you had planned. Yeah, I tell you what, it's, uh, you know, we're all here to win. There can only be one winner, and today was kind of threw me a little curveball. I caught that, I had a really nice fish, caught it early right off the bat, and I decided right then I was going to stick with what I was doing, just flipping a War Eagle jig around on 20-pound Seaguar and Viz X. It's a lot of fun being able to do that and uh, just go fishing and fish off instinct and just look for cover to throw at. All in all, it was a great week. You know, family came, supported me, and friends, and uh, appreciate their support. But no matter what happens this week, God is still good and he's still in control. And I just appreciate everybody coming out and supporting us. And uh, someone's life's going to change, just like Hunter said. And uh, one of these days, it will be mine. I look forward to seeing that, and we look forward to seeing y'all season long in the Bassmaster Elite Series. He comes to us from Belgrade, Maine. Give it up one time for Tyler Williams. He's a Bassmaster Open winner, hot of a top 10 on Lake Fork in his Bassmaster Elite Series rookie season. The only angler to qualify from Maine for the Bassmaster Elite Series. He is the main event. With 16 pounds, seven ounces yesterday, all he needs is 11 pounds, four ounces here today to keep his tournament alive. Looking to make another championship Sunday appearance. Looking for 11 pounds, four ounces today. 12 pounds, 10 ounces, with 29 pounds and an ounce. The main event slides into 22nd place. Get loud for the main event, Tyler Williams. A big week, a very big week for Tyler Williams. He's one of my personal favorites here on the Elite Series. We've got an incredible rookie class and uh, just your, your unbridled enthusiasm and excitement for fishing and for life is truly amazing and truly inspiring. But 
The Bassmaster Classic is, is a lot of firsts for people. We have 16 anglers doing it for the first time here this week. But, but that's not all for you. You rode your first escalator this week. Do they not have escalators in Maine? I'm not sure. I've never seen one. I almost fell down my first escalator, too. <laughs> you came up. I was at the top of the escalator. He got off the escalator, and he came up to me so excited. He said, I I've never done that before. And I said, what? And he said, the escalator. And I'm like, finally, bass fishing has its very own buddy, the elf. I mean, you didn't know what to do with your feet. <laughs> I had no clue. I'm like, do I start walking up this? Do I start walking down it? Do I just ride it like a wave? I don't know. It was, it was a, quite a ride. Well, the wave that you are riding outside of escalators is the hype, the excitement that we keep hearing from multiple media. I mean, you are just truly, you're the reason that that emotion that you show, that happiness that you show, that's, that's why we all started fishing. And you're a great addition to the Bassmaster Elite Series. I'm glad to be here. I mean, we're here because we love fishing. It's it's supposed to be fun. Tournaments are supposed to be fun. It's you don't. I try to simplify everything and just have a good time out there. And you gotta you gotta be on your toes and be able to catch them. Don't get me wrong, but you can enjoy it while you do it. You don't have to stress yourself out. Life is like an escalator. Enjoy the ride. We'll see you in a few weeks. From Bowmanville, Ontario. Cooper Gallant! Off to a great start on his second season of the Bassmaster Elite Series. He sat right here in the splash well in 2016 and dreamed of being here. Now he's fishing his second Bassmaster Classic. Had 13 pounds of 14 ounces, looking for 14.4 to get inside the top 25 and keep his tournament alive. Needs 14 pounds, four ounces. Nineteen pounds, five ounces, with thirty-three pounds, three ounces. Cooper Gallant jumps all the way inside our top five in fourth place currently. Give me a whoop for Coop. Thirty-three pounds and three ounces. We've talked about it this week. You were part of that crew. In 2016, looking up at this stage, dreaming of being here, and dude, you have just officially qualified for Championship Sunday, and you might have found your way into your first Bassmaster Classic Super Six, because you are sitting in fourth place right now. Man, it's been a crazy week. Um, oh, just it's it's all come together over the past couple of days. Yesterday was tough. Or, and then today, I kind of, end of yesterday, I kind of figured something out late in the day in like the last 10 minutes of the, the tournament. And it got me thinking last night. I didn't think I figured something out. And then went out today, and it was working. Um, the bite slowed down for me later on in the day, but they were chewing good in the morning. When it was blowing, it was overcast a little bit. Uh, tomorrow, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be blowing, so I'm hoping that'll help me. But stoked about that championship Sunday tomorrow. Hopefully, we can... Uh, coming with five giants. It's possible that happened last time we were here and uh, big bags were brought in on the final day. You never know out here, there's giants that live out here, but man, I'm thankful. It's been an awesome week. I love Tulsa, Oklahoma. Thank all you guys for coming out. All my Canadian friends, love you guys so much. All my friends, family, sponsors means the world and uh, that's all I got. I'm going home, I'm eating dinner, I'm going to bed early tonight and uh, getting up tomorrow and hopefully we can figure something out. Five fish away from a Bassmaster Classic title. It's great to welcome a reigning champion from Kenora, Ontario, Jeff Gustafson.
one of four Canadians fishing the Bassmaster Elite Series, but he is the only Canadian with multiple Bassmaster wins. Your reigning and defending Bassmaster Classic champion, the great Canadian Snow Leopard, Jeff Gustafson. Had 13-13 yesterday, needs 14-13 to get inside the top 25. Looking for 14, 13, 13 pounds at 15 ounces. He moves into 27th place with 27 pounds and 12 ounces. Let's hear it for the reigning Bassmaster Classic champion, Jeff Gustafson. Well, Gussie, Unfortunately, by falling outside of the cut, I mean, the good news is you're back at the Bassmaster Classic, but unfortunately, by falling outside of the cut, when you go to bed tonight, this will be your last night going to bed as the reigning champion. This time around, you're going to have other shots at it, but man, you've been an incredible Bassmaster Classic champion, hasn't he, ladies and gentlemen? And you got an honor on this stage tomorrow, and that's going to be handing off this trophy, but man, about right back to trying to qualify to get back here in a couple of weeks' time. Yeah, this is what we live for. This is what we do it for uh, to get on this stage. So um, I've got some buddies in the mix for tomorrow. And, um, you know, Coop being, being right at the top of the list there. So that was pretty awesome to see his catch. And uh, I know he's fired up talking to him back there. Uh, but, yeah, I'm going to all... You know, that's that's an honor to get to do that tomorrow. And the lot, like I said yesterday, I mean, the, the past year has been amazing. It's life changing and a lot of a lot of good things have come from it for sure. A lot of good things. And one of those good things is Jeff Gustafson. You make our sport better. Let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. From one Bassmaster Classic champion to another. And this one is from the great state of Oklahoma. Please welcome from Park Hill, Oklahoma, Jason Christie. One of the most feared names in professional bass fishing. He is an eight time Bassmaster winner, fishing his 10th Bassmaster Classic, the 2022 Bassmaster Classic champion. With 31 Bassmaster top 10s, had 13 won yesterday, needs 15 pounds, nine ounces to get inside the top 25 and keep his tournament alive, looking for 15, nine. 18 pounds, two ounces, 18, two. And with 31 pounds, three ounces, Jason Christie is inside the top 10. Personally, I am a giant fan of his weigh-in song, ladies and gentlemen. And with 31 pounds, three ounces, we're gonna weigh this for Mercury Big Bass. Needs to be better than 612. Five pounds, 13 ounces, not gonna take that over. But dude, you have led the final day and you have seen anglers come from behind and guess what? You're inside the top 10 and you are five fish away from becoming a two-time Bassmaster Classic champion on a body of water that most people agree you are the most dominant tournament angler in Grand Lake history. There's probably a lot of people in here that don't want to hear that. <clears throat> they probably think that they are, and they might be, you know. It's been a long time since I've fished there other than classics, but, you know, I stand up here, and I don't even know what to say because I'm mad at myself. I... I, you know, I buggered up yesterday. I never had a big bite. And today, uh, I had three big bites. And I lose two of them. I mean, I had a chance to have one of those 22, 23, 24-pound bags. And it's just one of those things. In fishing, you get into it. It's just like anything else. No matter how hard you try, no matter what you do, you just can't. You can't do anything right, you know. And, and uh, it just... It, there's words and I can't say it in this building, but it makes me real mad. 
Well, you said there's probably a lot of people that don't want to hear that, and I can think of, oh, 24 others that don't want to hear that Christie's inside the top 10. Dude, you're going to have a lot of pressure on you. This is a different position you're going out in. Can we see some grand redemption tomorrow? I would, <laughs> I like his words up there. Um, there's not many people here, uh, and there's probably some people in this building, there's probably not many competitors that seen it blow 35 to 40 on this pond, and uh, it changes a lot of things. And, and if you can get in the right rotation, and if you can get in the right groove, there is a, you know, a 25 or a 27 pound bag out there to be caught, but you have to make perfect decisions. And I have not been doing that lately, so I got to start tomorrow. Five fish away from the most coveted title in professional bass fishing. Wow. From Stevens Point, Wisconsin, let's give a big welcome to Jay Shakirat. Had a big day, number one, 18 pounds, five ounces yesterday. Fishing his second Bassmaster Classic, a former Dakota Lithium Rookie of the Year, and a proud Nitro Mercury Pro. Needs 10 pounds, six ounces to get inside the top 25 and keep his tournament alive. 18 pounds, five ounces yesterday, five fish here today. Let's get him inside the cut. Looking for 10-6, 14-2, not a problem. He's inside the top 10 in sixth place with 32 pounds and seven ounces. Get loud for Jay Shakurat. Thirty-two pounds, seven ounces, and you slide back into the top ten in sixth place, and uh, you're five fish away from an elite, from a Bassmaster Classic victory. Yeah, I mean, I'm happy with the day. I lost one fish today that would have helped me, maybe put me up in a little bit, you know, better position. But it's all right. Um, I had a good day. I'm on Grand Lake. I want to give a little shout out to Adam Rasmussen. I've been rooming with him this week. Um, this is actually the place where I qualified for the Elite Series back in 2021. I got to share that moment with Adam, and now he possibly has a moment that he could share with me at the Classic. There's still one more day left, so I'm rooting for him. Um, but either way, I have all my family here cheering me on. Um, it's been a great time at Grand, and I'm ready to go catch some bass tomorrow. Can't wait to watch it go down on Bass Live. From Salisbury, North Carolina, Brandon Cobb. Third classic qualifier, a former Dakota Lithium Rookie of the Year. He wants to hear you. <laughs> Digging deep in that live well. Get loud, ladies and gentlemen. More fireworks from Grand Lake. 12 pounds, 14 ounces. Me and my friends in the splash well, we're gonna go out and party tonight, so we gotta finish this up. 12 pounds, 14 ounces yesterday. A much better day today. Looking for 16 pounds, three ounces to get inside the cut. 21 pounds, six ounces. A Crush City monster bag. And with 34 pounds and four ounces, he moves into third place at the Bass Pro Shops Bassmaster Classic presented by Jockey Outdoors. <laughs> 34 pounds and four ounces, you're sitting in third place. And man, what a day number two. You keep going that direction and things could get pretty crazy tomorrow.
Yeah, it was, a, it was an incredible day today. He just uh, started out fast and furious, and uh, it just seemed like every little move that I made, I caught a big one. Uh, totally opposite from yesterday, but, you know, I got my sights set on tomorrow. Uh, you know, just take it day by day. Just trying to have the best time I can have out there, just having fun. Um, you know, Tulsa holds a special place in my heart. I fished the first Bassmaster Classic here in uh, 2013. And uh, that was my first year with Suzuki. And I've been with them ever since. They're the best sponsor a guy could ever ask for. They got a new motor you guys need to check out at the expo. Go to the Suzuki booth. It's the new Suzuki 250 Stealth. Y'all check it out. We're gonna get a shot at it. We'll wish you luck and see you back here tomorrow. He's inside our Super 6 with just two anglers left to weigh. Our next angler is from Ava, Missouri. Please welcome Cody. Off. He led for a long time yesterday. Had 21 pounds, two ounces left the dock this morning in second place. A three time classic qualifier, a former Bassmaster College Bass champion. Two Toyota Series wins, and he needs eight pounds in an ounce to go fishing tomorrow. He's got that. It's 15 pounds, two ounces with 36 pounds, four ounces. He moves into third place currently, and he's inside our Super Six and fishing on Championship Sunday. Right back where we started, literally one spot off of it, I means slip to third, but I mean, you're going out tomorrow morning in third place, five fish away from a lifelong dream. When did you start dreaming of becoming a Bassmaster Classic champion? Man, I remember watching it on TV as, as young as I can remember, and uh, this is a, a dream of mine for a long time, and man, I'm just blessed to be here. I got an awesome crowd up here, and man, oh man, we're gonna go swinging for him tomorrow. I can't wait to watch it go down on Bass Live. Let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunately, one of our anglers had to leave early. Old Bob Downey not gonna be weighing in today. So that calls an end to our day two weigh-in and our tournament leader, the same leader we had on day number one, Justin Hamner with 42 pounds, six ounces. Behind him, fishing his first classic, Adam Rasmussen with 36 pounds, 15 ounces, followed by Cody Huff, Brandon Card, Hank Cherry, Cooper Gallant, that is our Super Six. 25 anglers remain, and the most coveted title in professional bass fishing will be awarded right here on this stage tomorrow. It's going to be a showdown, a throwdown, a big fish mowdown. This has been day number two, Bass Pro Shops, Bass Master Classic, presented by Jockey Outdoors, and we'll see you tomorrow.